For years, the debate between four strokes and two strokes has waged on in the motorcycle community. And at the center of many arguments is the KX500 versus the KX450, two of the fiercest machines ever produced by Kawasaki. So, to finally put this debate to rest, we enlisted the help of a man who has won multiple off-road championships on a KX450, and a legend who once dominated the desert aboard a KX500. I think one of the biggest things that I get questions on is, what do you like better, the KX500 or the KX450? And, you know, that's a huge debate, I guess, you know, and they both have certain things about them. Yeah, being able to ride the bikes back to back, you know, the KX500 versus the KX450 was totally different for me. I've never done that before as far as testing back to back. and. I really noticed where the KX500 was good and where the KX450 was really well at. I think the biggest thing that the KX500 had for it was sheer power. I mean, personally, I won seven major championships just on the KX500, four best in the desert, and then three AMA Heron Hound championships. To me, the KX500 with the power band and everything else it had was from torque to rev, however you wanted to ride the bike, it was pure horsepower. You pretty much twist the throttle and it would go fast. You know, the big reason we went to the KX450 in 2006 was, of course, it was our first year and they stopped making the 500 and I actually won the championship in 2006 on the KX450, even though it was a four speed. But to me, the handling of the 450 made up the difference and that's kind of, you know, why I definitely lean towards the 450 riding it pretty much all the time. Yeah, I understand how there's so many KX500 lovers out there that still, that's all they ride and that's all they want to ride. And I'm one of them, you know, I love the KX500, but at the same time, technology and R&D and everything else is kept bringing up to another level. And, you know, the way the KX450s are today, it's, it's hard to beat it. But you have to wonder what would have happened if KX500's technology kept developing. And, you know, that motor is probably the best motor I've ever ridden as far as pure horsepower. So, you know, it's one of those things that you wonder how that would be in today's world if R&D kept pushing that. It's always going to be a debate. And me personally, I'm a, I'm a four-stroke guy and, and most of my career of winning championships has been on two strokes. But I think just being smooth, it's, it's easy to ride those things a lot smoother than versus a 252 stroke, a 500 two stroke. So times are changing and uh, I think the four strokes are the way to go.